Hi everyone, welcome to another home edition of Word of the Day. Since we have launched our new oral history initiative, My Armenian Story, which I'm sure many of you are already aware of, uh, we thought it might be interesting to actually do the word memory since oral histories um, kind of bring out so many memories, hidden and unhidden. Um, so the word memory um, came into English via Old French, of course, via the Latin memoria and the Old French memoir. Um, in Armenian, um, it would be Dishovutun, so new spelling, Dishovutun, classical spelling, and let me transliterate Dishovutun. Now, the core root of this word is Ush or Hush which are cognate. And you may kind of not recognize this, and then if I give you a couple of words, you're gonna realize, like ushadir, many of you will know, right? Attentive, ushim, so active, attuned. Ushaganats, to faint, yeah, to lose consciousness. Um, apush, so an idiot, right? Someone who is, doesn't have the mind, the kind of the brains, the intention, the reason. So ush, hush, they have this sense of sense, um, intention, reason, brain, mind. So all of these words having to do with recollection, with memory, with kind of being attuned to something, go back to these oosh, oosh. And an amazing find in my search for the etymology for this word was even the word um, ushuns, many of you may know as kind of a synonym for hai hoyang, for a curse, uh, is hushunsk. Again, remembering the grievances of someone that you're about to curse. So, and kind of an interesting um, circle that comes back to memory. So, if you have memories you want to share, if you have um, someone whose memories you want to collect and document and make sure they live in kind of the grand story of the Armenian experience, go to our website, armenian.usc.edu, check out My Armenian Story, all the guidelines are there interview someone and upload it into the website.